Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome to Camille's Cooking uh, cooking with Camille McGowan. Okay, guess what we're going to do today? We're going to do um, a nice salad and some stuffed pepper soup. So these are the items you're going to need. We're going to need some celery, maybe just two sticks of celery. You're going to need some raspberry walnut vinaigrette for our salad, some tomatoes, some feta cheese, some pasta sauce, Parmesan cheese, some diced tomatoes, some ground chuck, ground lean, 93%, some peppers, I have one red, one yellow, one orange, and one green, some olive oil, you're going to need some Italian seasoning, you're going to need some pepper, and some bay leaves, and some uh, meat seasoning. Okay, let's get this party started. Okay, well, we got the hamburger going. I put another pack of hamburger because I like my soup to be meaty. So I'm add another pack of hamburger. Putting the olive oil in the pan so we can stir fry our, our vegetables and our onions. I uh, forgot to tell you, put one onion in there too. So we're gonna let yeah. that get hot and stir fry and we'll cut the vegetables up while we're waiting for the oil to get hot. Okay, while we're browning that, I forgot to tell you we're going to add our chicken base. We're going to need that. And you're going to need some Uncle Ben's rice also. Add that. So now we're sauteing our vegetables. Uh, I got the celery and the onions on. Now I'm going to cut the green peppers, the peppers, while I'm waiting on that to uh, cook. Okay, now I got the peppers cut. I'm going to add that to the grease too. And I like to fry them, stir fry them, and then add them to the broth of uh, when we cook it. And that's enough peppers for us. I'm going to let that cook a little bit and finish seasoning it. So make sure you go ahead and season it what you want or meat with what you want. Okay. Now that the meat, make sure your meat is really chopped up fine. Season your vegetables. I'm going to put a little fresh herbs in there on the meat so it can season with the meat and I'm going to put some fresh basil instead of in the water I'm going to put it on the meat to season with the meat also fresh basil and then I'll add some to the, uh, the bread so now we're going to do this and we're going to drain your meat and then we're going to get our pot ready and get your chicken base ready okay I'll put the chicken base in the water in our pot that we're going to cook our soup in and we're going to stir fry these look how beautiful those colors is and the red and yellow and green uh, I mean uh, yellow and red peppers will give it a sweet taste where the other peppers will just give it a regular taste then I got the onion in there that's going to make it good and sauteed and olive oil so that's going to be good right there so then you're going to get your chicken base to your flavor don't make it too salty because you have all those other flavors in there too. And we're going to drain our burger. Okay, then you get your, after you stir it, taste it and see if it's at your taste, your chicken base taste. Perfect. Perfect. Then we're going to add our peppers and onion to the base so it can start cooking and getting tender. You just want that, that grill taste to them to make them sauteed and all that uh, olive oil. Um, you can use Crisco or whatever. I use olive oil because it's less in calories, okay? Then we're going to stir that up and let that cook. Okay, now that we're stirring those vegetables all in there, we're going to add that ground beef to it so it can start getting tender too ground beef and just let that stuff come to a boil and make sure you drain your meat drain your meat stuff oh it's looking good mm, it's looking good already and just let that boil come to a boil and while that's boiling I'm gonna wash some dishes and we're just checking on our stuff see how it looks look at those peppers and the ground beef Coming along just good. I'm gonna add just a little 
uh, more basil. Since we added it in the meat, I'm just going to add just a little a tiny bit because we got it in the meat, sauteed in the meat. Okay. Then we're going to add our tomato sauce. Just a half a dry. I'm going to add all of it. Add it because this soup is going to last us for a couple of days. Add all the tomato sauce and stir it up. Stir it up to the turn red. And then we're going to add our diced tomatoes at the last and add our rice. Let's add some rice to it because the rice takes long because it's Uncle Bear's rice. And it takes long. So I'm going to add the rice. It's not even much in this box, so I'm going to empty this box out. Okay. And let that just simmer. And we'll be back to add everything else. There we go. And when you stir it up, it looks like this. We still want to let it just cook down some more. And then we'll add the stewed tomatoes. Okay? And we'll make our salad. Okay. <clears throat> okay. It's boiling. It's doing really good. Now we're going to add our stewed tomatoes. One can of stewed tomatoes. We're going to let that simmer. Then we're going to add a root of thicken it just a little bit when it's almost done. We got the rice. We're still waiting on the rice to cook. Enough rice in there. We got all your peppers, sweet peppers. And just let that simmer and cook. Oh, it smells good. I can smell, smell like tomato soup almost. Okay, now while we're waiting on the soup to cook, we're going to make a little salad. We're going to do... I put... Went to the store. I can't believe the store is out of lettuce. So I had some shredded lettuce. That's what we're going to use. And this is spinach. Add some spinach to it. Let me wash it off. Even though it says clean, I still wash it off. Wash it off a little bit. But I still don't think it's clean enough for me. Okay. Then we're going to add. Break these stems off. My goodness, I got so many stems. Break them off. Add that. Then we're going to add our feta cheese. Our, our parmesan, our tomatoes. And I'm going to add that while the soup is boiling. Okay. My salad's done. It's uh, spinach and lettuce. They didn't have no regular lettuce. I had to use shredded lettuce. Tomatoes, parmesan, uh, some uh, mozzarella cheese, and scallions. That's all you need in a salad to make it look good. I wanted some red onions, but they were out of red onions, too. Where does a grocery store for? So we're waiting on our soup now. Okay, everybody. This is what it looked like. Stuffed pepper soup with a salad. My husband don't like the raspberry vinaigrette, so I had to put ranch on his. But look at that. Look how nice it looked, y'all. Oh my goodness. That peppers make such a pretty color. Look at that salad. Thank you. Please like and share. Like and share. I love you. And thank you for coming, um, watching my cooking with Camille McGowan.